Hi, I'm Jason Storm, and today I'm going to bring you my review of the Nokia 3310 3G. So I've spent the last two days with the new Nokia 3310 3G. And OMG has it been a little difficult. But I mean, you'd sort of expect that, wouldn't you? There's been many a times that I've just wanted to pull my SIM out of this phone. But I'm not going to go into that too much in this video. I'm going to make another video after this one two days with the 3310 3G. Keep subscribed. Check out my next video. For now, let's get into the review. Let's get into the specs. Or lack thereof. Now according to the box, which we'll have a look at now, it comes with a 2 megapixel camera with LED flash, snake preloaded, opera store for games and apps, up to 6.5 hours talk time and 27 days standby time, FM radio, SD card, support up to 32 gig and micro SIM. Keep in mind that this is a micro SD card and you're likely coming from a device with a nano SIM. So you have to use a uh, little spacer thing here to make your nano sim into a micro sim. In the unboxing video I did the other day, I did say that I thought maybe you can change the cases on this, like the shell, but I actually don't think that's the case. I mean you can pop off the back and you might be able to replace the back. But the front, I haven't seemed to be able to get off, at least without, without probably breaking the phone. <laughs> but it does have the 1200 milliamp hour battery that's removable, which not a lot of phones have these days. And what came with the phone? Well, you got the box. That's a pretty cool looking box, I guess. You got a quick guide. You got the power block. The power block is one of those power blocks that actually it isn't connected to the power block via USB so you have to bring your own USB cable if you want to connect it to the computer which you may want to do if you plan on using this phone as a cheap little MP3 player to just walk around on I guess because I mean it fits in a 32 gig SD card um, put your headphones in it with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you know MP3 player plus a bit of nostalgia it also comes with these headphones. They seem quite basic headphones and they're all plastic, but they do have an inline mic. And of course, it comes with the phone. Got your little LED flash on the back there, the camera, and the loudspeaker at the back. Now I'm gonna do something I never normally do, and that's do a bit of voiceover with the camera actually on the phone to actually show you what it's like to use this phone and my experience with it the last two days. First of all, you unlock the phone in the same way you always used to unlock the phone. We'll have a look at messages quickly. I found by default it had the dictionary on and to be honest I'm not a big fan of the dictionary. I just like the old school text, the T9 text without the dictionary. And when you hold the hash key, it actually brings you into this, which actually took me a little while to find out. And then you go into predictive text and then turn it off. Also, the volume on this phone is actually really good. I never found I had to lift it above about there. Also, when it comes to emojis, don't expect too much from it. And when we go into internet, Things do take a little longer than they normally would on your smartphone. And once you do eventually get to the website you want to get to, things don't exactly look the way they're meant to. So it's a little pointless. You also have a gallery to look at all the photos and the videos you've taken, which brings me on to photos and videos. As for the photos, you can judge for yourself. As for the videos, well... What's up everybody? This is the video camera on the Nokia 3310 3G and I'm sure it's looking great in there with a full 2 megapixel camera. Oh dear. 
As for the camera settings, you don't really get too much to play with. You get exposure, contrast, brightness, light balance, and night mode, and you get to turn the flash on and off. And the effects, well, don't expect too much from effects. You can get the same effects practically putting cellophane in front of your camera. And you also have a timer. And that's about it. On the plus side, the phone does have a calculator, radio, alarm clock, and music. And extras, well, it doesn't give you much extra, put it that way. But let's have a look at the important things. What ringtone does this phone come with? Factory. Oh yeah! We also have a calendar, voice recorder, uh, some games, and a torch, which goes on and off. But going into the games, yes, 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 I know, you, you want Snake, it's coming, it's coming. But I wanted to show you this game first, because I thought this would probably take the most processing power. And I played this for a little while, and it is a bit exciting. Yeah, the, the graphics aren't, aren't the greatest. But I found the phone did get a little hot. Not like scorching hot, but okay, okay. I hear you. You want Snake? Here it is. Snake isn't how you remember it. This version of Snake is actually from Gameloft. It's a new take on Snake. Is it as good as the old one? No, probably not. But it does have some cool graphics and is mostly the same thing. If I had to choose, I would go the original, however. But that doesn't mean it's not fun to play. I, mean, I still think it's a cool game and hey, I'll play it. It's Snake. And when it comes to in-call quality, amazingly, this phone did much better than expected. It was loud and quite clear. Who is this phone for? And should you buy it? Well, first of all, this phone could be good for an older generation that just wants a phone as a phone and they don't want anything complicated, they don't want a touch screen and it can be a bit too much for them. So you have a normal phone that you can just start typing in a number on the keypad and then hit call. I, it's quite simple and obviously if that particular older generation does a lot of texting, this might not be for them and maybe a touch screen is the way to go. The other reason to buy the phone is nostalgia for, for people like me that was a Nokia kid and loves their Nokias. Well, I, no, no, don't worry about that one. I was from the Windows phone days. Let's, let's not dwell on that. So yeah, look, nostalgia reasons. You want to have this maybe sitting on your mantelpiece or something, just on show. Have a look at this. Whip it out every now and again, play some Snake. Maybe use it as an MP3 player for, to get a bit of use out of it, I guess. Or maybe just as a backup phone. Maybe you know you're going to go somewhere and it's a bit iffy and you don't want to smash your thousand dollar iPhone or something. Whack your sim in this. I don't think you'll break it. But lastly, do I regret buying this phone? As a Nokia fanboy and a bit of a Nokia kid and loved the old Nokia stuff, no, I, I, I don't regret buying it. Will I use it as my, my daily phone? No, I'll use this sitting up on a shelf, just something to look at, whip it out for some snake every now and again, maybe an mp3 player, but you know that's that's probably about it. But uh, thank you for watching everybody, maybe check out some of my other videos around here, and I'll see you next time, bye bye!
our smartphones come to Papa.